My name is George Trax. I live in Kernsville, North Carolina, and this is a 1971 Cutlass S X. They made two years of these vehicles, 1970 and 71. Uh, this particular year, uh, there were only 2,117 of them, and of that number, 357 were convertibles. I've owned this vehicle since February of 2002, and since then, I've had a complete repaint, vinyl top, uh, complete interior done by Legendary Auto Interiors, and I removed the dashboard myself, redid everything on the inside, and put it back to the original condition as it came from the assembly line. My wife drives this vehicle and uh, we do not trailer it. We drive it to shows. We've been to two Oldsmobile Nationals with this vehicle. One in Bowling Green, Kentucky in 2007 and that was 500 miles one way. And in 2010 we took it to Sturbridge, Massachusetts just under 800 miles one way and I was fortunate enough at the Nationals that time to win my class, best of class, in 16B. The interior was done by Legendary Auto Interiors. Uh, I installed everything myself with the exception of the headliner. The dashboard, uh, about three years ago, I took out of the vehicle and totally rebuilt, uh, pretty much redid everything with the exception of the gauges. All I did to the gauges was just take the faces off clean them, put them back together, but everything else on the dash was redone, back to original specs, and it looks just the way it did when it came off the assembly line. I pulled the engine out of this vehicle uh, January 4th of this year and took it to a friend over in uh, Statesville, and he went through the engine. I supplied all the parts. Everything in this engine is quality USA, from the uh, lifters, push rods, rockers, everything. It's got a uh, crane cam, uh, Johnson High Lift lifters. The only thing that was not replaced were the pistons. The pistons were in good shape. The block was no problem. All we had to do was hone it out. 